So what's special about this location? Is it, it's the altitude you've said, but what is special about this soil, this place? So location defines us in uh, pretty much every means. Uh, because we are on the highest ground, highest level of the region, there's a part of our soil which is not eroded yet. Therefore, you can only find it here at Trollomola. So these little hillocks are exactly. what? This is a very specific type of clay, uh, which is filled with uh, stones and uh, flint in those stones. Um, and you can find it only here. The second element of being part of, uh, of being on the top of that hill is we have a range of altitude, different orientations that allows us to play around with the type of grapes and type of uh, uh, way we are going to treat every, every single plot. And that gives us a totally unique um, opportunity to make a wine that doesn't resemble to any other one. This is Trollomond. You're surrounded here by some absolutely beautiful trees, some very old trees and, and hedges. So there's a real, there's an authentic biodiversity here. Is that, am I correct in that um, observation? Yes, totally. It's, um, it's actually a big part of our uh, ecological project uh, nowadays mm -hmm. to make sure we not only maintain, but we further develop our biodiversity, uh, going through uh, dry stone walls or uh, hedges that we're replanting new trees. Um, but in the same time, we also try to develop our uh, waste management uh, with chicken, pigs that are taking care of all the waste from the kitchen. Um, and as well, we are developed something totally unique now that we are totally independent in our heating system by using the wood from the pruning of the vines. Um, and it's uh, brand new. We are the only ones that uh, have been making it for the moment. And uh, we would like to make it um, something a little more structured so we can push it and offer it to all the uh, other uh, vineyards in uh, Santa Emilia. So what is the DNA of Tohum Mondo? How would you describe it? It's a very good question. Mm -hmm. uh, the DNA of Troplo Mondo to me lies in three elements. One is the location. You can see here where we are. Uh, on the highest ground of the region. Um, two is really our very early ecological conscience, which is uh, a real driver uh, today in our business. And the last element is our tradition of welcoming. You know, it's very, very important. And uh, now we are one of the leaders in the wine tourism uh, in saint emilion and in, uh, and in Bordeaux. So what vintage are we drinking? We're drinking the 2018. Ah. It's very important because it's my uh, first real true vintage at Trollomondo. Ah, thank you. So, uh, the 17 was the, was the first step and the 18 was really when uh, you know, I started to uh, really implement what I, uh, what I had envisioned for the estate. Uh, the first vintage uh, for which I was fully in charge uh, from uh, um, the budding to the to the harvest so it was uh, it really represents something we had a vision with the team here on how to uh, express slightly differently the, the estate um, by having a, a um, very low intervention intervention approach uh, we just wanted to be uh, very soft with the extraction and make a wine that really resemble where it's coming from. Um, therefore, slightly early in the picking, uh, making sure the wine is uh, bright, extremely aromatic. Um, and here at Trollomondo, the, the density, the power of the wine comes for free. So it's, it's just a question of just guiding it and making sure the wine is in balance, complex, and, uh, and hopefully gonna, it's going to reveal through time that we will see that. 